According to the data gathered by Chandrayaan-1, it seems that electrons emanating from Earth could potentially be the source of water formation on the Moon. Today, a group of researchers, under the guidance of a planetary scientist from the University of Hawaii at Manoa, made a groundbreaking discovery. They observed that high-energy electrons present in Earth's plasma sheet play a significant role in the erosion of the Moon's surface. Furthermore, these electrons may have been integral in the development of water on the lunar surface. The findings of this study were recently published in Nature Astronomy. Comprehending the concentrations and distributions of water on the Moon is of utmost importance in comprehending its development and transformation and in procuring water resources for future human exploration. Moreover, the recent revelation may provide insight into the origin of the water ice that was previously detected in the shaded regions of the Moon that never receive sunlight. The planet Earth is surrounded by a protective force field known as the magnetosphere due to the effects of its magnetic field. This shield guards against the harmful effects of space weathering and radiation emanating from the sun. The magnetosphere is affected by the solar wind, which can deform it into a long tail on the night side. The plasma sheet located within this magnetotail is an area comprised of high energy ions and electrons that may originate from both the Earth and the solar wind. In previous years, the scientific community tended to concentrate its efforts on investigating the impact of high-energy ions on the process of space weathering on the Moon and other celestial objects without an atmosphere. The solar wind, consisting of particles with immense energy such as protons, relentlessly bombards the lunar surface and is currently believed to be one of the principal mechanisms behind the formation of water on the Moon. Shui Li, an assistant researcher at the School of Ocean and Earth Science and Technology, so East, at UH Manoa, decided to expand on his prior research that revealed that oxygen present in Earth's magnetotail is causing iron to rust in the polar regions of the Moon. His current focus is to examine how the surface weathering of the Moon is affected as it moves through Earth's magnetotail, which offers almost complete protection from solar wind, but not from light photons emitted by the Sun. Lee stated that this circumstance offers an organic testing terrain for investigating the procedures involved in the creation of lunar surface water. As the Moon moves beyond the magnetotail, the surface is subjected to the constant assault of solar wind. On the other hand, within the magnetotail, solar wind protons are scarce, which implies that the likelihood of water formation is anticipated to decline to near zero levels. The data collected by the Moon Mineralogy Mapper instrument on India's Chandrayaan-1 mission between 2008 and 2009 was analysed by Lee and his team. Their analysis was focused on the changes in water formation that occurred as the Moon travelled through Earth's magnetotail, including the plasma sheet. Lee stated that the remote sensing observations came as a surprise, revealing that the formation of water in Earth's magnetotail is nearly identical to the time during which the Moon was situated outside of the Earth's magnetotail. This discovery suggests that there may be fresh water sources or additional formation processes in the magnetotail that are not exclusively linked to the implantation of solar wind protons. Specifically, High energy electrons radiation produces effects similar to those of solar wind protons. Lee stated that his previous discoveries of rusty lunar poles, combined with this new finding, suggest an undeniable connection between the Earth and its moon. It is clear that this connection extends beyond what is currently understood, highlighting the need for further research in this area. Lee's future research objectives are focused on contributing to a lunar mission under NASA's Artemis program. The mission involves the monitoring of the plasma environment and water content on the lunar polar surface. The research will be conducted across different phases of the Moon's traverse through the Earth's magnetotail. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.